Okay, welcome back Lawn Amateur. In today's video, let's talk about Grub Killer. Yes, someone is allegedly not telling the truth about killing grubs. Stay tuned. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about grub control. As you can see, I have um, a bag of Spetricide and then I have a bag of Bio Advance. Um, they used to be called Bayer. They switched the name now. Now they're named Bio Advance. Um, I think the slogan is something like same product, just different name, new name, something like that. But let's talk about grub control today. Today, I actually went in the store. Um, I bought this bag from Walmart. It was actually on sale for $7, seven dollars seven twenty five, seven twenty four for a 20 pound bag of Spetricide. And um, I figured that was a great deal. I always use Spetricide in the past um, when I was trying to uh, control and kill fleas, fleas and ticks. I have two animals so my dogs like to run in the backyard so I used to use the spectricide for fleas and ticks uh, control to kill them you know I want to keep my dog safe so I always use the spectricide so today I found a 20 pound bag I think it originally goes for about 1288 but it was seven and a quarter so I picked it up <clears throat> but today I want to control grubs so I'm looking at the bag and um a gentleman in the store said uh he always had bad results using spectricide when he was trying to um, fight off grubs. And kind of raised a little bit of um, a curiosity to me. So I went ahead and um, I bought the bag anyway. Because um, I've always used the product for other, you know, other insects like I stated. And I did a little bit of research on the active ingredient that spectricide um, put in their bag. And this is the granular formula, so um, the active ingredient is gamma cyhalothrin. Um, I hope I said that right. And um, But when I actually did research on the gamma cyhalothrin ingredient, um, I found out that it does not kill grubs. That, that active ingredient alone does not kill grubs or control grubs at any stage. And um, I was kind of shocked to see that. Um, now, like I said, this is all from research, allegedly. Um, the research uh, came, I guess, out of a, a university, it's, I think Michigan. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description and guess if anybody wants to um, take a look at it or if anyone knows any information about the um, active ingredient site, Gamma Cyhalothrin, um, feel free to leave a comment. But when I was reading it, it said that um, they did research on the active ingredient that spectricide carry and um it does not kill grubs at any point so i was kind of like shocked because i'm like wow you know that spectricide is actually um labeling this is a, a basically grubs they they're marketing that grubs are i guess being killed or season long control of grubs and ants and all these other insects and um the study came back that it does not kill grubs at any point, so I'm not sure. You, I don't know, anybody else uh, use spectricide and had bad results uh, fighting off grubs or anything? Let me know. Um, so after I bought that bag and I did the research, I went to Lowe's and um, I picked up a bag of this uh, Bio Advance. <clears throat> and I also, um, as I was doing the research on um, the active ingredient Gamma, Gamma cyhalothrin, um, a whole list of other ingredients came up that uh, didn't fight off grubs also. And um, and on the Bio Advance bag, it's um, they have two ingredients. They have uh, the first one is bifenthrin, and the second one is carborol. And um, the actual bifenthrin was actually on the list of um one of another uh, another ingredient that uh didn't fight off grubs also so i found it shocking and this is uh, the same study from the same uh university i guess they they reviewed and did a study and a trial of all these active ingredients that actually control grubs and these two gamma cyalothrin and bifenthrin did not control or kill grubs at all by themselves so i don't know Anybody um 
anybody know anything about this uh, feel free to chime in so but I did see also on that same study from the same university that the carborol the also the second ingredient inside of the bio advanced bag that ingredient kills grubs at all stages so maybe the bio advanced company itself they possibly did research on this um the, the ingredients so maybe that's why they added two ingredients into the bag i don't know because um the carborol they said it kills grubs all, all stages whether it's the eggs whether to grown uh fully grown grubs and beetles whatever they turn into um this is all from research so i've never used the bio advanced uh, complete insect killer but I picked up a bag of this today at Lowe's. It was 10, about 10 bucks, 9.98, I wanna say. Um, it's 11 and a half pound bag. It covers up to 5,000 square feet. So, I don't know. So maybe if anybody know anything, or if Spectracide, feel free to, um, you, you know, you guys, are, if y'all see the video, feel free to chime in. Let me know what, um, I would like to know more about this uh, active ingredient. You guys say that control or kill grubs. I don't know. I said, like I said, I've always used the spectricide for fleas and tick control, and I never had a problem with fleas and ticks. So I'm guessing they're right about that. But the study shows that that active ingredient does not kill grubs. So that's a question mark. So today I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply the Bio Advance into my lawn because I want to um, fight off grubs. I haven't put anything like a preventative for grubs or anything yet. So I want to hurry up and get this down. Um, basically everything is self-explanatory. Um, let's see. It states right here. I'm going to need uh, about two, a little under two and a half pounds per thousand square feet of the product to cover all the the bugs listed on insects listed above if you guys can see that um, so my lawn is a total of a thousand square feet total combined so I'll probably I'll be using about one and a quarter maybe one and a half to make it a little easier whatever I'm gonna weigh it out um, but I was just kind of curious if anybody know anything about the spectricide or these two active ingredients gamma cyhalothrin and bifenthrin um, like I said, those two active ingredients came up on the list that did not, um, they didn't kill or control, uh, grubs at any point. So if anybody has any experience or any experience with spectricide or the bio advance, let me know. It will be my first time using this product to actually fight grubs and, um, we'll see what happens. Um, but I, it just raised a red flag to me and I'm, I'm very curious now and I would like to know more. So Spectracide, if you guys um, see this video, feel free to comment or reach out. Um, let me know. I don't know. I've always used the product. Now these are all alleged. So I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a, a pro or professional. I didn't do a, a study myself. So this is all from just research. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, Let's get to let's get to spreading. I'm gonna throw this to the side for now until we get further further a little more information on that. Alright, so I'm gonna use this the bio advance. Um they do have a bigger bag. It's a, they got like a $20 bag. I think it's about a little over 20 pounds. Um, there are other grub controls on the market. Scott's have one that's like I think strictly dedicated to grubs. Um, but I don't mind getting the other insect control also because mosquitoes. I do not like mosquitoes at all. Um, ticks, like I said before, my dogs like to be in the lawn. So ticks and fleas is a plus. Well, it's a must for me to have. But you know, to have it in a ten dollar bag covering um killing grubs and everything else also you can't beat it so let's go ahead and get to it. 
Now with this product, you do want to go ahead and um, when you spread it and get even coverage down, everything is pretty much self-explanatory on here. Um, make sure you keep it out of uh, drains. Make sure you're not giving no heavy rains. Um, when you're about to apply the product, you don't want to wash off. You don't want to get this product into uh, you know drains, water wells, wherever you're at. So make sure you you know you're very cautious. Use the uh, product responsibly. But it tells you everything on the bag. It's self-explanatory. Do not apply more than four applications per year to lawns. Um, let's see. The minimum retreatment period is seven days. So if you got a bad case of uh, certain insects that you're trying to treat, you might want to do um, every like a seven-day treatment. That's a real aggressive style treatment. If you're applying it um, like every seven days, but don't do more than four applications. Um, you gotta watch out. Just just read the instructions and make sure you're following regulations and restrictions in your area. And pretty much that's it. You want to water um water the product in about a about a half a um half inch of water should do the trick to water every um the water the granules in. And like I said, let's uh it's enough talking. Let's get to spreading it down. First, let me put my gloves on over. Alright, so I went to, I'm going to do one and, one and a half pounds, both sides, so a total of three pounds to cover my thousand square feet. It says um, about one and, a, one and a quarter for my side, for 500 square feet, so. So you're going to start on the edge like always and work your way back in nice overlapping patterns so you can get even coverage um, as you see the lawn looks good. This is how the granules look. Take a look at that. Real fine. They're starting, everyone is starting to do like Scott's now. On um, the real, real fine, fine granules. So, let's take a look at that. All right, let's get back to work.
Okay, so like I said, so if anyone has any information on um these two products, um the two active ingredients that I stated, if anyone has any any insight or anything, like I said, spectricide, if you see this video, um I would like to hear from you guys and see what you guys say or anything. I'm just kinda kinda shocked that the um a lot of the information that I uh, reviewed and read and researched. So, if anybody else had any uh, problems with a uh, spectricide, not um, fighting off grubs like it stated, um, let me know. I would like to hear from you guys. But until then, uh, stay tuned for more videos, and um, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of this. So, take care.